So I, I start with a side view, okay? Sorry for the, the noise, but it's my bracelet that has a, a metal lock and it's that one that uh, makes uh, lots of noise when it's touching my my table. Okay, so here we go. We start, of course, from a very basic uh, uh, sketch of the wheelbase, uh, some sh sort of shadow under the platform of this hypothetical car. And now let's start making some extra some extra lines, okay? So that we can imagine something like uh, some really interesting proportions, you see? Not bad, very forward we are with a sort of a long uh, nose. Maybe this is too much in the front. So let's do this. Okay, so. You know, those nice proportions uh, that uh, lately Velar, this beautiful car, has, you know, the big mass, long hood, very forward. It's a very nice uh, dynamic uh, shape. Okay, so here, let's uh, try to make it a more vertical. Okay, so when we make a quick sketch, you can see this kind of line quality using this uh, felty pen, which is kind of thick, you see? Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Here, there you go. You see that point? It's not very thin. So when we use this, uh, you, can, uh, you can do a line that is uh, very light like that. This is thinner. And if you press more, of course, you will have a, a line like that, which is a little bit thicker. The most important thing when you work your line work, when you do your line work, make sure you are not too messy, okay? So, now let's move on. Let's see what, what we can do. First of all, I will make a little bit of uh, wheel well, okay? Quick sketching, of course, so we don't... Uh, we go kind of fast. This is like a sort of a SUV, a sports SUV. So the car is a certain height from the ground, okay? All right. And then uh, we can imagine that the top of this car, it's like this, you see? So we have a little bit here of body color, body color, and all this should be kind of black because it's the, the glass area. So let's make a, a nice reflection, okay? Okay, I'm going to make this reflection, all right? So kind of dark, in the center and then uh, we can kind of uh, make it a little bit disappear on the sides. So we get a sort of a three-dimensional effect of this big cylinder, okay? Like that. Here we want to make sure that this is a little bit darker because this is a, like a, it is a felty pen. It's easier, okay? to get that uh, black, really dark. That really dark line, darker value. You see, I'm going back, just like if I had a marker in my hands. It's a little bit the same thing, you see? Now, wait, I'm gonna make it closer 
I'll, so you can see the difference between the darkest part in the center and on the side you can see it's a little bit lighter. Okay, now... This is a sort of... Uh, picks up the light, okay? And then uh, we can imagine that we have, uh, like the rover, a nice line here, okay? can put a sort of uh, light graphics in the front, one in the back. Like that. And then if we want to, we could uh, imagine, first of all, let's complete the shadow to give a little bit of perspective, okay? So when you do your research study for proportions, you can use also this technique, okay? Which is a little bit different from the one I use uh, habitually. This is fun. I like uh, also the feel of this, uh, of this uh, felty pen, okay? And here I can just uh, put a little bit of extra quality on some lines, okay, Give, giving that accent that makes the line, as we say often, three-dimensional, okay, so that it looks nice, neat. And then uh, this line is coming down here. We could do something like that, okay. Okay, so at the moment, I would say that this is our, our shape. Now, I'm going to put some cut lines just to give an idea of how this uh, okay, this car could be. Right? We can imagine here some sort of... Uh, and we can consider this as a, a very quick sketch, okay? Finished, okay? This is just to give us, I, I repeat, just to give us ideas, okay? So... Now... I will do another thing, don't worry, it's not finished yet. So, let's suppose that now we have our idea, okay? So we know more or less what we want to do, okay? Let me finish this one too. Because when we put those details, you know, we, f we really feel the car, you know, we, we, we know more or less how it's made, the proportions, everything. So we can start saying, you know, I could develop this idea and make it into something, you know. Okay. There you go. All right. So let's put a little bit of background. Very quick for the sake of a nice uh, presentation, okay? All right. Then, of course, you sign your uh, sketch. All right, so now this is, let's say, let's call it part one, okay? 
Now I can take this. First of all, I flip it over to see if there are some mistakes, okay? Something here is not really nice. I think that this should be corrected. So what do I do? I trace it. Let's say that we use this one, okay? And then I start cleaning up. So I will use a very light marker with a felt tip pen, but this time it's a marker, so it's gonna be different results. Okay. So you can see that uh, while I'm doing this, I'm also making, making corrections because I want to make sure that I, I take advantage of my tracing to make corrections because we make mistakes, it's normal. So let's make the other wheel in the back with its wheel well, okay. You see, my line quality now is much, much better than before. So now I can, I can sketch better my character line, which is here. My reflections. I put back my graphics, rear graphics, and front. Graphics. Okay. Now I use the other point, the one that is a sizzle point, the thicker, okay? I want to make sure that here I have Okay, now let's see it. Can you see it? Now, so let's compare. This was our, oops, sorry. This was our beginning, okay? This was just to have fun. We have a nice felty pen in our hands and we sketch over, okay? We could have done a little bit better than this, but let's say five minute sketch, that's it. Then we trace it and we fix some mistakes, okay? So now everything is very light, but I can see it. And the little mistakes have been fixed. So now what can I do on this? I can take a, a black or a dark blue pencil, okay? Like this one, okay? This is a dark blue pencil. And now with this one, which is a, a Prisma a Faber Castell, which like a Prisma color, I will just go over the lines to make some line quality, okay? And you will see that this sketch will come alive, will come to life. Because what I will do now, I will make some details. You will see. And those details will make sure that our, 
that our uh, car shape becomes even better than what we thought. So I make the wheels, the wheel well, okay? Many things I just copy, uh, the way I did it already, because they are really nice. But there are some details that I can still add, or little things I can still modify. For example, this line here, I would like to make it a little bit more aggressive. So why not to do this? You see? Do you see the difference? You know, I know you might say, yeah, but come on, you move just one millimeters. But believe me, that millimeter or those two millimeters of changes are very important in the balance of the overall shape you have, the overall design you would like to express. So, okay. And now, because we are making, of course, always a sketch, Let's not forget that we cannot be too precise, but we want to be sketchy because this is just a sketch. Let's not forget that, okay? So now, let's put our line here, the end of the car in the center. Our shadow, it's important. The shadow, remember that the shadow means that I am making a car. If you don't put the shadow, the shadow on the ground, that looks like it's a flying object. It's not a car. The shadow is very important to determine the proportions. Okay? So that's why the shadow is really important. Now let's make uh, the, the rear wheels. And that our character line, you see, this here. Now I'm taking care of bad line quality. We have to do it. Because line quality will help us a lot, believe me, a lot to check the, the volumes and the three-dimensional feeling of what we want to do to see if it looks nice, if, if it is an, an, enough uh, rounded or it's too harsh, you know. Okay, so now I'm making a little detail for the front light, and now we'll do the little detail for the back light. And I make a little modifications, because I think like, that, like this looks better. More like a Porsche. Okay. Can you see? That's not bad. Now, let me finish here, because we, that's what we will do uh, today. It's not that we have to do a lot, unless you, we're gonna make a mess out of it. This one, let's make it a little bit more, you know, more straight. And this one rounded, okay? This shape. You see? Much better that way. Then let's do the, the reflection here, here, cut line, cut line, then I can put my cut line here on the door, And then let's not forget what we did on top, which is this one. So there also a little bit of line quality so that we understand there is a separation between glass and body color on top, okay?
Okay, so now let's look at it. You know, this is okay. I can say that this is uh, pretty much what we want to do. Now, the only thing we have to finish is here, you see, around wheels. Because the wheels, believe me, they must be correct. And also the wheel well to really communicate proportions. So now that was too high, so I made it lower, you see? Same thing I'm doing here. Okay, now that we did that, we had to put some shadow. Okay, first of all, I want to make sure that my reflection, my side reflection, it's correctly done, okay? I'm also putting on, on the side, on the body side, because this is still cylinder. It's not turning yet. It's turning down here, you see? Okay, so now let's make this one. Let's make this reflection. So I start a little bit light, okay? And I go really light at the end. Okay, like that, you see? Wow, not bad. And now... I'm going to hit once again because I really want to create some contrast. So the center has to be a little bit darker. Let's do it. Always in the same, uh, in the same uh, sense there, okay? Discipline in this case is very important because if you don't, you are not disciplined, it will look like it's, there is a, it's dirty, it's not natural. So, take your time, don't worry, nobody told you that you must make a sketch in one minute, okay? You can make, you can make it in a few extra minutes, okay? Look how nice, all right? Now, here, line quality, let's fix it. You see, look how nice here. That's what you want to obtain. That's what you want. Now we have to do this one. I will keep it light here because the car is white or very light gray. So we don't need too many, too much of a shading. So now we will do a little bit of shading on the body. And because as we said, this is light gray or a white car, we have to be very, very light. So let's do it. You see, when I come to the end, I almost, I even, maybe don't even touch the end. Look. Now, don't forget the same rule, the shading. The shading has to be very, I mean, you have really have to take care of your shading. So dark light, dark light has to be nice, gentle, okay? Don't, uh, don't be too rough because then it looks like uh, it's dirty, as I said before. And of course, at the bottom, we do the same thing. Okay. Well, you know what? We're almost finished. And while I'm doing this, I can see that there are, this is nice. Here there is a spot. This is white, too white. You see, it looks like you have a shading and then it stops here. And this is too light. So I have to, I have to do it a little bit better. Look, 
I'm not pressing very much. I want to make sure that the consistency is like the top. You see, the two have the same cylinder, so they must have a very similar, very similar treatment, okay? Now, one thing I want to do, and I will do it with a ruler, because this is something straight. You see? I will just make this line really nice and crisp. Because we need it. You see? Look, very nice. But look at that. Line quality. Very dark, very thin. You see? So there is still a line that is developing in its three-dimensionality. Now, because I did it there, of course, the shadow is the same thing, unless it doesn't make sense. Okay, so also this one. Let's make sure those lines are well done, unless it will look strange. Okay, there you go. And this is the last one. Okay, you see? And then I complete, okay? I finish always freehand, okay? And of course, in the front, I want to make sure that those two elements, which is the shadow of the front and the back, are very similar to what we did here. Now, there are people, designers, that live it that way. They say that, the sketch is done. And they're right. We could imagine this is done. But what I like to do, I like always to make the, the shadow dark. Because when we make a, a dark shadow, we really see the car. And for me, the proportion, it's better. So let's do it. So first of all, let me clean up here. Clean up lines, very important. And also, let's not forget the reflections on the windshield, which is a conic shape. So it will be a little bit conic here, okay? You see? Here. It's conic. It's wider, thinner here. Wider and thinner here. And narrow here. So it's uh, like this, okay? Because it's a conic shape. So now, let's clean up here. Let's clean up here. All right. Now, because this is the character line, also, we need to, to make sure that this line looks really nice, even if it's not precise. But we want to give the idea that the car reflection stops there. Okay, so I make it a little darker. Look, like in the center here, here, here. And now let's do our shadow, okay? I go kind of fast here because it's going to be really dark, a little bit sketchy, okay? Look, very sketchy. Don't be too precise. This is just a sketch. It's nothing special. But this is a sketch you can present at work, for example. This type of quality, it's nice. It's not bad. Look, look how I go. And look what I'm doing. I am always very dark in the center, lighter on the side, always. Okay, don't forget the wheel well, because this here, we have to really show the differences. So let's make darker here on top. And then, of course, on the side, we will be a little bit more fuzzy. It's okay, no big deal. Dark in the top area, darker in the top area, okay? Because you have to consider there is a little bit of the tire. So to give that the illusion of the tire, if you are darker on top 
and you leave a little bit of light in here, it looks like there is the tire around. You see? You see? The feeling of the tire around. Same thing here. Okay, let's make sure that it looks uh, okay. I don't say perfect, but it doesn't exist to perfection, but still, it looks okay. You see, I put little signs there that looks like uh, really the rubber tire, you know? This nice thing with this uh, Faber-Castell Prismacolor pencil, you can have those type of effect, you see? Look. Okay. So let's uh, divide to make uh, some uh, graphics about uh, our, let's make it very aerodynamic. So this is some like flaps, okay? So we have those lines, okay? You see, and it's dark on top and lighter always toward the center. Okay, I'm really hitting at the beginning and leaving and lifting up the pencil at the end, toward the center. Let's do it. And if there is a little mistake, it's okay, no big deal. Most important thing that you have to have a general control of your line quality. That's important. So if this is a, aerodynamic, it's gonna be pretty much flat, a little bit spherical. So what do we do? We just apply a little bit of shadow, just like if it were a sphere, okay? Okay, and then we can add some detailing, okay? For example, I don't know, this, 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 you know? I will show you what I'm going to do with those triangles. Now, the triangle, they can be dark because it's like those flaps are open. You see? So let's do the same thing here in the back. All right, so. Of course, you can do whatever you want eh, in terms of uh, creativity. Use your creativity at your best. You know, I do this because that's uh, very easy for me to do. You know, those, uh, qu it's quick sketching and I don't want to waste too much time in this demo. But when you see this, well, you know, what can we say? That we have our, our car. So now, because this is very horizontal, very horizontal car, okay? Very low horizontal, we need a, a background that uh, that uh, it's able to you know I'm putting still details look look how nice look at that bumper looks nice we can almost imagine the section you see so what I will what I want to do it's uh, now 
I would like to apply uh, a background that helps to understand uh, uh, better our car. Now, this is uh, horizontal, as I said, and very, and very squeezed down. So the car needs a background that is uh, squarish and vertical because we have to create a contrast between the background and the car to make sure that the car is put in value, okay? So we can do this. Very light lines, if you want. See, I'm going through. And then you can imagine here to put, I don't know, something, or you can put a black, all black, whatever. But I would say that this is enough, okay? You can add some reflections, some stuff, you know, to have fun, but let's not do it too much, okay? So, I think that our quick sketch, it's done. I always want to show you how we started, okay? We started with this one, okay? Very quick, with this type of pen. Then we flipped it over to check mistakes. We traced it and we made this one. Okay, so this is my demo of today. I really hope that uh, you like it. Okay, thank you.